But at the moment, I'm in normal mode, which is the one I like. But if I press this button, Sport, now the suspension is firmed up a little bit. Can I feel that? Yes. But lots of cars have a Sport button. The Insignia, however, has another one that goes up to 11. This one, which is marked VXR. You press that, and the suspension gets even harder. The throttle response is sharpened up a bit. But most importantly, the instruments become red. I mean, that's just fantastic. Now it's a fire-breathing monster with a spine of iron. And the price for all this VXR-ishness? Just over £30,000, which in Top Gear maths, where we tend to sort of round things up a bit, makes it actually pretty good value. Because the equivalent Audi S4 would be nearly £5,000 more. And that's all you really need to know about it. But obviously, I have to keep going. So I will, by explaining that the Insignia VXR is surprisingly restrained, both to look at and to sit in. It is, therefore, the first de-chaved VXR, the first fast Vauxhall that would know which way round a baseball cap goes. This is actually a very civilised car. It's very quiet. The ride is very good. And yet, without the VXR button on, it still goes like stink. It's also very spacious, and it has a big boot, and much more equipment than a pricier Audi. And now, I really have run out of things to say. But rather than go back to the studio, I'm going to introduce you to someone I've always wanted to meet, a lady called Margaret Calvert. And here she is. Hello, Margaret. Hello, James. Now, you may never have heard of Margaret, but believe me, if you are a motorist in Britain, she's one of the most important people in your life. And if it hadn't been for Margaret and her mates, I would now be going the wrong way or possibly even having a terrible crash. You see, Margaret, along with her colleague Jock Kinnear, is responsible for creating something special that we take for granted every single day. The road signs of Britain. Oh, I doubt it. Margaret's work began in the 1950s, when car ownership was booming and the government, alarmed at the clogged up roads, decided to build the first motorways. However, existing road signs were totally inadequate for the new high-speed highways. No one had designed motorway signs before because we hadn't had a motorway before. Right. And the whole job of making that system of signs clear to the car, which was still a new thing driver, for most people, yes. and at speeds that were still yes. new. That all fell to a, a man and his former student from an art college. They gave you the whole job. Absolutely. We were both on a crash course learning curve to come to grips with um, designing um, road signs. It wasn't a fashion thing. It was we were designing for permanence. We were designing for something that wouldn't be look dated in five or ten years time. Margaret explained how the colour system of our road signs was carefully designed to make words and numbers as clear as possible at the high speeds motorway born cars could then achieve. And she and Jock horrified the signposting establishment by using upper and lower case letters instead of the accepted block capitals. And that's to do with word recognition. You read a shape, whereas if it's all in capitals, it takes you longer to read. So you don't actually have to read it in upper and lower, you see the shape and you exactly know what it that. says. So, yeah. so your brain fills in, you know, the middle bits. Most people wouldn't realise how involved this is. They'd think no, no, it's just well, lettering no, that you stick on the side. Yes, and it yes. still works. It's still basically the same system. Margaret's work didn't stop at motorway signs because she and Jock then went on to design just about every other road sign you see in the highway code. So you've designed a new typeface. Yes. Which became known as transport. Yes. And then you had to design the actual pictures for your warning signs. Yes. That's you, isn't it? That, that was actually a very difficult one to do. The important thing was to make it look like an action. 
mm. um, that you it would really alert you to the possibility of, of two children walking across the road. So hopefully you're trying to save lives by getting that yeah. right. The previous sign had a grammar school boy w with a satchel and the, the girl behind him and um, they weren't holding hands or anything like that. And I just thought that this is a little bit more caring. And I, so I switched it round. I based that actually on me. I based it on what I wore as a child. So is that actually you? It is, it is actually, yes. At this point, I was starting to run out of intelligent questions. What do you make of the car? Because I can't quite make my mind up, but... They always have faces, don't they? Yes. And I think some can look very shark-like, some can look very aggressive. It looks like a car that's been designed by a committee. And then I ran out of intelligent things to say. But would you agree with me that it would look a bit sexier in glasses? That that's a very interesting. I think you're quite unusual. Back on the road, we inevitably came across one of her most commonly used signs. The story I read about you was that you did that sign and then the joke emerged, it was a man struggling with an umbrella and that joke's been around for years and that annoyed you and you wished you'd done it slightly different. Well, I would have put a shoulder on it just and I... Huh? Uh, what, you want me to draw it on? Yes. Yeah, uh, no. Come on. <laughs> I've got I'll there. do it. Well, no, but I'll I want you to direct on. me. OK. <laughs> right, think of drawing a spade. As if you're drawing a spade, yeah? What do you think? Well, I think from here, it, 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 it sort of, it's wrong. Not only did she not like my drawing, she didn't find my gear changes very good either. That was a bit of a, that was a yeah, bit... Yeah, sorry, that wasn't very good, Yeah, was no, it? that wasn't a good gear. No, 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 let's, let's try that again. Yeah, do that. I was trying I to like be clever, you see. I like it. Oh, right. Skipping the cock, so we'll double it there oh, in a right. second. Yeah, even then it was a little bit chuddery, wasn't it? Now it's better. Yeah, a bit. Is that better? Yeah, a bit better. Could be a little smoother. Sorry. I decided to speed up, and that didn't work either. Oh, my gosh. Margaret didn't like this sort of driving. And as we headed for home, plainly, she decided to get her own back. It's nice to think that your legacy is spread all over the country. Well, it is a legacy, I suppose, and that's why I end up sitting next to people like you, talking about road signs. Did you put my seat heater on for a joke? No, I didn't. Is it 